Would you rather be constantly bullied and yelled at by your preceptor or be neglected and detached from your preceptor? I honestly don't even know what I would pick. They both seem really bad. Yeah, they do. Lesser of the two evils. <laughs> can can we ask, would this be for like if we're doing a rotation or an elective with a specialty that we enjoy versus one that we could care less about? Because my answer would definitely change. Right, right. Actually, since this might be more relatable to residents who are actually training for what they care about, let's just, okay, yeah, let's just say this is for something you do care about. <laughs> that okay. might be a bit more <laughs> relatable. Um, okay, so I think you would choose uh, someone who is like a, a preceptor that would be more detached. Um, basically, let's see, because even if, again, I'm going to go with the confident exploring part, because I feel like if the preceptor were detached based on that trait, you would be fine, like researching stuff on your own um, and, you know, figuring out more details about things that you're interested in. Even if the preceptor wasn't readily answering your questions, I feel like you would be able to, you're confident in harmonizing. So I feel like that tr translates to um, socializing also. So you would be more than able to just walk up to someone else and be like hey does this mean this like can you answer a question I have about whatever we just did like I, I think you would probably be pretty cool with that ding 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 yeah you got one right <laughs> you didn't get it right because on I hate I don't like conflict I don't do well when people are screaming or yelling at me mm -hmm. people up but it breaks me down um so and you're right if I couldn't get it from my Preceptor, I would just find other ways of learning. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have like a relaxed person. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, for you, just because you asked the question of like, it is it something that you, is it a, a residence, what is it, a program that you care about? Or if it's something in between from that question, I inferred that you'd rather have a preceptor that is like hard on you, but you still learn something from it. Yeah. Because it's everything's a learning experience. Mm -hmm. My reasoning, I'm not like, a, yeah, confident, re like confident inferring is the reason mm -hmm. like that for Vanessa. Yeah, yeah, I would agree because I've, I've had both. I've had not necessarily in medical training, but also with like work and other things. I would rather have someone that at least takes an interest, even if it's a negative one than someone who's completely just like detached doesn't care. like if I don't care about whatever it is I'm doing there if it's like a rotation I don't really think I'm not interested in yeah I'll take an easy one fine whatever um but if it's something that I am passionate about then I I want to learn even if it's through you know negative feedback because that's better than nothing at all and like you said I can use confident inferring from, okay, they're telling me don't do X, Y, Z. So then I have to figure out myself, okay, well, what do they want me to do? And then I learn through that. That's actually um, a teeny bit surprising because you would expect somebody with like your cognitive stack with like cautious harmonizing, especially since it's more cautious, um, you would be more averse to, you know, conflict and therefore might not want to choose that option because um, you're very cautious about keeping things, you know, in harmony you're not as confident about it as say like yeah and efj yeah. it's from life experience more so like then if if it was just like you know freshly out of you know whatever never had to you know deal with either one i would definitely probably pick the more detached one but having dealt with both personally i'm like no just give me the bully it's fine i'll, I'll deal with it yeah I was actually going to say the same thing. It's because I have no experience with rotations or preceptors yet. I'm like, oh, please don't yell at me. But I'm pretty sure that when I get there, I'm like, I paid all this money. Might as well like have someone who's like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah.